Nurse Sue here and welcome to my kitchen. If you've seen my previous videos, you know that I am a food prepper. And I mean like on Sunday afternoon, I spend at least a couple of hours prepping breakfast and lunches for the week. I am not the kind of person that Monday night, Tuesday night, Wednesday night, I wanna to try to figure out what's for lunch tomorrow. I try to avoid the things like lunch meat sandwiches. I know that's an easy go-to, but they're char that lunch meat is so full of sodium. And as we season or age, whatever, <laughs> um, as we get older, we need less sodium. You know, we don't need all that extra sodium because that's when high blood pressure and those kinds of things start to happen. So I try to stay away from all the extra sodium and fat that I can. So I started making these, I, I do like salads for the week. Sometimes I do a cheeseburger salad or a Big Mac salad. Um, I'll do uh, like a grilled chicken salad, I do cob salads, but sometimes salads get old. So occasionally I'll throw bowls together and I love bowls. Um, and I'm sure if you Google the ingredients that I'm using, someone out there has a fancy recipe for this. I don't have a fancy recipe. I just want, hey, I like this and I like this and how can we make this healthier? And so I kind of just threw this together. So I'm choosing to call this the $2 lunch um, prep. $2 lunch prep, that was it. Um, so I, because it's kind of like fajitas, um, but when I decided to do this as a video, I went to Aldi, because I shop Aldi, I'm frugal, I'll admit it. So I went to Aldi's and I did my shopping and then I divided it by 10 to 12 bowls because I usually make 10 to 12 bowls at a time. And it came out to about $2. Now, if you find things on sale, it might be cheaper. If things aren't on sale or maybe you shop Publix, it's probably gonna cost a little bit more. But for $2, to me, I can't beat it because if I, I like to go out to lunch occasionally, but if you go out to lunch, you're dropping somewhere between seven and $15 probably. Again, I'm a little more frugal than that. And eating out, you've got all the extra butter, all the extra salt, so you have all those extra things to make that food absolutely amazing, but not really good for you. So I try to take a recipe or take some ideas and make them a little healthier. So I'm going to show you how I make my $2 lunch prep, okay? Um, so I use these containers. Um, I also use them for my salads. So they're just glad containers. I get them at Costco. You get like 25 for $7, I think. And just keep carrying them back and forth and washing them and reusing them every week. And sometimes they eventually chip and break, whatever, it's okay. Just replace them, not a big deal. So that's what I'm gonna be making my prep in. And you can see I have a stack of them here because I'm getting ready to do my weekly lunch prep here. So one of the things I'm doing is I have rice here, but instead of doing all rice, I'm going to add some cauliflower rice to my regular rice, okay? Um, because I don't want all the extra starches and the carbs from the regular rice. So I'm going to make it about half rice, half cauliflower rice. Uh, now, I know that you might be going, oh, I don't know about that, Sue. Trust me, you can't tell when you get it mixed in really good. Um, I used to make homemade mac and cheese. And I would do half pasta, half cauliflower rice, and my boys didn't notice. So it's a great way to sneak vegetables in on the kiddos. Um, and if you're going, oh, I don't know, my kids are picky. Okay, I feel you. My youngest son, incredibly picky when he was younger. Um, but I could slide that cauliflower rice into his mac and cheese and he did not know it. Now, if you have picky children, let me just tell you, my picky child is now working as a chef in a Michelin star restaurant. So there is hope for you, okay? <laughs> do not be discouraged, all right? <laughs> So the first thing I'm gonna do is just mix in this cauliflower rice with my regular rice. It gives us more veggies, less of the starches, okay? The other thing that I have in this pot is just peppers and onions. So again, I went to Aldi's. I bought two bags of the mixed peppers. So I usually get the yellow, the orange, the red. So I bought two packs of these, so that's six peppers. And I just cut them into chunks, okay? And then I also got, they have these packs of jalapeno peppers. And I think there's about five or six in a pack. So I cut those up. Now make sure you put gloves on for those because um, I was kind of coughing <laughs> today when I was prepping this. I was like, whoa, you don't stand over the trash with those things because that comes up and hits you. It's like I had, uh, I was crying. I was a big old mess. <laughs> um, so make sure you put gloves on and get the seeds out and the veins out unless you like really hot and spicy. If my nose is running, I am not enjoying my meal. So I like just a little spice. So when you clean those veins out, take all the seeds out and cut them up, it gives your peppers a little bit of spice, but not so much that you can't enjoy your food. 
And then I used um, just white onions. I cut up three white onions, kind of big actually. So I have the onions and then my peppers and my jalapenos. And then I had fajita seasoning, so I threw fajita seasoning in there and just cooked it up. Uh, you could use taco seasoning. I don't get creative with your spices. It doesn't matter, but I just happen to have fajita seasoning that I used. And I cooked up my peppers. On my uh, cutting board here, I have boneless, skinless chicken thighs. I would normally use chicken breast because it's a leaner meat. However, all these had um, chicken thighs on sale cheaper than the chicken breast. So we had chicken thighs this week. And then I also have some frozen corn here and black beans. I just dumped in, um, I think I have like four cans of black beans maybe, and three bags of corn I believe is what I did. So I just did the black beans and I just rinsed them off. So I'm gonna start with my first tray. I'm gonna do, this is about a half a cup. So I'm just gonna do a half a cup of black beans right there in the corner. In the next corner, I'm gonna do about a half a cup of that frozen corn in there. The next thing I'm gonna do, oops, where's my scooper? I'm going to put about a half a cup of that rice, cauliflower rice. Um, if you're cooking for others who want it a little heartier, just throw a little more in there. It really doesn't matter. Make this your own. Then I'm going to take a spoon of my peppers, put my peppers right over that rice. Oh my goodness, that looks amazing. And then I'm going to take some of my chicken thighs and just blop those over there. I made these last week and they were such a hit that it was requested that I do them again this week. <laughs> And uh, when I realized they were only $2 a bowl, I was like, oh yeah, I'm all over that. The next thing I'm going to do is I have some cilantro in here. This is an herb grinder. If you don't have an herb grinder, it's really not a big deal. This just grinds it really small for me. Just cut it up. It's no biggie. All right. So I got my cilantro on top of there. Look at that. Now, if you want to, you could put some cheese over top of there and um, you could have some cheese. If you don't mind the calories and that kind of stuff, go ahead and throw some cheese on there. If you're going, oh, I don't know, Sue, I'm a really big eater. I get it. Get some tortilla, get some wraps. Heat this up at lunchtime, throw some of this in your wraps and enjoy it for lunch. However you want to do it, but make it your own. Super simple, and believe it or not, that's a really hearty lunch for $2. So I hope you guys will give this a try. Get as creative as you want to, um, but just enjoy it. And now, all I have to do is every morning, grab those out. Those are our lunches. And of course, I have the parfait recipe on here that I do for granola check out that one as well. Give it a shot. Let me know what you think. Thank you for stopping by.